All right, so let's do a quick walkthrough of uh, Casado and Jinho. Down right. to where um, the walking path is for mm -hmm. the separate entrance. Um, in here, you've got like a futon, little sitting area. Yep. got a stove over here that we use to make eggs every morning and a sink and you got all the appropriate you know glassware utensils cooking cookware things like that but we always make sure that there is very nice artwork mm -hmm. in, in all the areas too so you've got like original watercolors mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, there's a tile of the Guggenheim here oh yeah um, bathroom Beautiful bathroom. Mm -hmm. And a shower. Beautiful shower. Yeah. There's um, this opens up. Yeah. So when you shower, just let the steam out there. Yeah, let the humidity out. She gives you two sets of towels. So you've got a yellow set and a white set. White sets for the house, yellow is for the hot spring. Yeah, because there's iron in the hot springs. Right, so if you took your white towel, they get rust. It might come back yellow. No, so she just exactly. gives you a set of yellow That's towels right. to begin with. Um, yep, good view of the outside. Yep. You want to lead the way upstairs? Upstairs. So this is my favorite. Mm -hmm. Have you had this? Yes. Skylights. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. This one opens up just like um, the window in the bathroom downstairs. Yeah. So you can just press this and it'll open mm -hmm. up. Um, and there are also these curtains, three individual curtains with yeah. three individual. Yeah, so you can. Ah, looky there. But we don't want to close them right now, so we'll go ahead and reopen them. But you see, that's really nice. So, you just open them back up. One, two, three. Very nice. Very nice. Muito bem. Muito bem. And you can also see the birds hopping around in the trees. Yeah. It's kind of, kind of fun. Yeah. Oh. Um, plenty of closet space. Bed, very comfortable, big. It's just a nice little nest. Very nice. All right, now back where we started earlier today. On this beautiful bamboo path. You see we have the running water again now. This morning he had shut off the water because we got so much rain. This is the place that you want to be. Paradise. That's what it is. Paradise. So we're going to do chicken and grilled pineapple and the chicken is actually covered in a spice paste that is used a lot in Portuguese cuisine 
The pepper is called Piri Piri, and it's actually originally from Mozambique, which um, for a long time was a colony of Portugal. Uh, and when they colonized Mozambique and discovered Piri Piri, um, that's when it started to be used uh, more popularly in Portuguese food, and it is really, really tasty. Um, you can see that I've got this nice paste all over it. It's basically just pureed piri piri pepper and some salt. And um, probably a little bit of garlic. And I'm just going to toss the chicken breasts and thighs in the sauce and throw it on the wood fire. So I just got out here to the grill. Austin has already started the fire it looks like. And I just brought this little um, like hors d'oeuvre plate here. See we got a nice bed of coals over here. Stay away from that flame over there for now. Flamio Hotman. Flamio Hotman. This smells really good. Piri Piri chicken. Yum. We're also looking into birds in the Azores, trying to figure out some different things we saw today. Yeah, we saw so many birds. I just saw like a hummingbird that was like this big. I was like, look at that blue jay. We were I like, oh yeah, it looks hummingbird. like a bird. Huh? It probably wasn't a hummingbird. It looked like a blue jay at first. I was like, look at that blue jay. It looks just like a blue jay. But then it was like, <laughs> like a hummingbird, like a freaking little, you know, motor bird. It was crazy. But it was like this big. So we just finished dinner. Mm-hmm. Oh, very good. Very good. Muito bem. Muito bem. Muito bem. Or is it muito bom? Depends what dinner is in Portuguese. It does. Is it masculine or feminine? We don't know because we don't know the word for dinner. <laughs> we better get on that shit. So now um, there's also a sp in a, an espresso machine out here, which we love espresso. So we're having a quick espresso before we head to Poza de Dona Beja, the hot springs. Yeah. It's been a really long day where we've done a lot of really fun stuff, seen mm -hmm. a lot of really cool things, eaten some great food. Now it's time to go soak in the hot springs. Yeah. Right after this. Right after this.